Welcome to this quick guide where I'm going to show you how to record your screen on Windows 10 and Windows 11 with the mouse cursor and sound included. And if you get any value out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. But to get started with the guide, I'm going to show you the two best ways that you can record your screen in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the first method is for Windows 11 only. But what you can do is you can do a search for snipping tool. And then you can launch the snipping tool app. Once you have the snipping tool launched, you need to make sure that the video camera is selected and not the camera. This will take a screenshot and this will record your screen with the cursor. Now, if you want sound included, you need to go to these three dots and then click on settings. And you need to scroll down on this list to the screen recording section. And here you need to have a look at these two settings. The first one will include your microphone input by default when your screen recording starts. And the second one will include your system audio by default when a screen recording starts. So you need to make sure that these two options are selected according to your preferences. And then once you're ready to start the recording, you can go back and then you can click on new. And then you need to select the part of the screen that you want to record. I'm just going to select the whole screen by clicking in the corner and then dragging so I can select my whole screen. And then I'm going to click on start and this is going to start the recording. And you'll see this countdown. Now, whatever I do next will be recorded in a video format. So I'll just go to my documents, pictures, music, all of that, just as an example. And up here, you can see I've recorded for almost 15 seconds. And you can also toggle your sound up here, the same sound settings that we got in the settings. But once you're done, you can click on stop to stop the recording. And now this recording won't be saved yet. So what you can do to save it is by clicking on this icon to save it and you'll be prompted to give it a file name and a location where you want to save it. I'm going to choose the desktop and I'll just leave the normal recording file name selected there and the file type will be mp4 and that's the only format that you can select here. Then you can click on save and you can exit out of the snipping tool and when you go to your file save location you should see the recording there. And if you go ahead and play this back, you'll see that your cursor will be recorded with your screen recording. Now, the second way that you can use to record your screen is by downloading a free software called OBS and you can get it from this web page. And once you're here, you can just click on Windows so you can download it for Windows. And that's going to start the download automatically. Once it's finished, you can just click on it to open it. So you can start the installation. Just accept any prompts. Then click on next. Click on next again. And then on install. Once it's done, just click on finish. And it's going to launch the OBS studio. Now on first start, you'll see this auto configuration wizard here. Just select optimize just for recording. Then click on next. Here, just select the resolution that you use on your computer. I'm recording this on a laptop, so I'll select the highest resolution available on my laptop. And then for FPS, I like to set this to 60. Then you can click on next. Now right here, I can see that my output resolution will be scaled down. So we're going to fix that in a moment. Just click on apply settings, then click on settings. And here you need to click on video, and then you need to choose this output scaled resolution to the same resolution that you have as the base canvas resolution. So to do that, just select that and delete that and then type the exact same resolution that you have at the top there. Then just click on apply and OK. Now next, here in sources, you need to click on this plus icon and then you need to add a display capture. So click on that, then click on OK. And then here you need to choose the display that you want to capture. I only have one monitor, but if you have multiple monitors, you'll see them listed here. So just select the one that you want to capture. And then here you'll have this option to capture your cursor and you'll need to enable that to capture the cursor. Once you're done with that, you can just click on OK. Now next you'll see here that your desktop audio will be recorded as well as your microphone and by default, this will be recorded. If you don't want this to be recorded, you can simply just turn this volume all the way down. 
and your computer sound or microphone won't be recorded at all. Now, once you're ready to start the recording, you can click on start recording, then you can minimize this and you can go ahead and record whatever you want to record on your screen. And then once you're done with that, you can go back to the OBA studio and then click on stop recording. And then you'll see the recording has been saved to your videos folder, which is the default location. So if we go ahead and we navigate to the videos folder and then play this clip, you can see that we've recorded our screen with the mouse cursor. And if you selected the audio, the audio would have also been recorded. So I hope this guide's been useful. Please like the video and I'll see you in the next one.